pleasant morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to St. Anthony de Padua School Virtual Graduation and Moving Up Ceremony, Class of 2020. Let us all welcome the graduates and completers, followed by the faculty and school officials. To formally start our program, let us all stand for the Philippine National Anthem followed by the Doxology. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Tayang magiging,
To open this memorable event, we shall now have Dr. Elizabeth K. Buyayo for the opening remarks followed by an inspiring message by our school principal, Mr. Victorino N. Napadan.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is with pride and honor to present to you the graduates and completers of St. Anthony de Padua School, Class of 2020. Junior Kinder Completers under the advisory of Mrs. Maria Karina Alcala. Queen Kyle A. Advincula with high honors, best in reading, best in mathematics, best in science, and best in Filipino, most courteous, most persistent, and most attentive. Zach Achilles B. Munoz, best in Filipino and best in language, most attentive, most thoughtful, and most kind. Zian Miguel Q. Vega, with honors, best in writing, most honest, most kind, and most punctual. Helenaya S. Badike, best in writing, most kind, most thoughtful, and most polite. Alexandra Sophie G. De La Cruz, with high honors, best in science, best in Filipino, best in writing, most punctual, most helpful, and most independent. Jamila Faith M. Prinjana, best in reading, best in language, best in writing, most behaved, most patient, and most persistent. Jorin D. Santos, with honors, best in reading, best in mathematics, and best in writing, most attentive, most kind, and most energetic. Senior Kinder Completers under the advisory of Mrs. Maria Karina Alcala. Niven A. Avenir, with highest honors, best in reading, best in mathematics, best in science, best in Filipino, and best in writing, most independent, most attentive, and most active. Jeff Ivan B. Barlizo with higher honors, best in reading, most persistent, most energetic, and most active. Tyrone Caleb M. Aiko, with higher honors, best in language, most behaved, most kind, and most polite. Adam Craig P. Logramonte, with higher honors, best in reading, most energetic, most persistent, and most cheerful. Ivanovic A. Petines, with honors, best in reading, most behaved, most courteous, and most kind. Kim Yolas P. Raton, Achiever, most energetic, most friendly, and most cheerful.
Aldur R. Villanueva, Achiever, most kind, most polite, and most thoughtful. Apollo Zyren H. Billiard, read higher honors, best in reading, best in mathematics, best in science, and best in writing, most energetic, most punctual, and most cooperative. Daisy Rose S. Kidayan, read honors, best in writing, most kind, most behaved, and most polite. Yuri A. Legaspi, with higher honors, best in Filipino, most patient, most honest, and most behaved. Gwen Stephanie L. Sismoan, with higher honors, best in reading, best in mathematics, best in Filipino, and best in writing, most attentive, most polite, and most active. Elementary graduates under the advisory of Mr. Marvin P. Bonagan. Jason J. Q. Abia. Second Honorable Mention, Best in Araling Panlipunan and Best in Mathematics. Athlete of the Year, Most Energetic, Most Attentive, Most Cooperative, and Most Independent. Josh Arman B. Asaituno, Third Honorable Mention, Best in Hele and Best in Art, Most Neat, Most Attentive, and most polite. Josh Roland S. Binamira, most polite, most helpful, and most generous. Prince Jacob C. Chavez, first honorable mention, best in English, best in science, best in Filipino, and best in Hele, leadership award and athlete of the year, most courteous, most active, most persistent, and most polite. Dashley J. M. Galicia, athlete of the year, most friendly, most independent and most cordial. Jan Neil Aldrin P. O'Shea, six honorable mention, best performing artist in dancing, athlete of the year, perfect in attendance, most cheerful, most cooperative and most enthusiastic. Harvey Shan David I. Villegas, Athlete of the Year, most punctual, most helpful, and most cheerful. Frances Mia S. Cobo, Salutatorian, Best in Filipino, Best in English, Best in Science, Best in Computer, and Best in Art. Best Performing Artist in Dancing, Perfect in Attendance, Most Initiative, Most Cooperative, Most Active, and Most Attentive. Julian Francesca Marie Venice O. De Jesus, Fourth Honorable Mention, 
Best in Araling Panipunan, and Dancer of the Year, Most Behaved, Most Independent, and Most Kind. Angel A. Liever, 7th Honorable Mention, Best Performing Artist in Dancing, Most Cheerful, Most Generous, and Most Friendly. Maria Zanel A. Pagaduan, Valedictorian, Best in English, Best in Science, Best in Mathematics, Best in Araling Panipunan, Best in Hele, and Best in Art, Best Performing Artist in Singing, Perfect in Attendance, Most Attentive, Most Persistent, and Most Cooperative. Fiona Rio Nicole B. Toralba, Fifth Honorable Mention, Best in Arts, and Best in Performing Artist in Dancing, Most Cheerful, Most Cooperative, and Most Friendly. Junior High School Computers under the advisory of Mrs. Lorna Calpe. Jose Marco Donel V. Dolor, with high honors, most thoughtful, most honest, most patient, and most persistent. Kenneth Brian C. Echalas, most punctual, most generous, most kind, and most behaved. Jerome B. Jaro, most energetic, most friendly, and most independent. Mark David B. Lope with honors, athletic award, most polite, most helpful, most courteous, and most cooperative. Vince Angelo T. Maravillas with honors, athletic award, most punctual, most neat, most initiative, and most enthusiastic. Antonin N. Napada, most energetic, most independent, and most cooperative. Mylene A. Abuela with high honors, best in mathematics, best in science, best in English, best in Filipino, best in Araling Panipunan, best in art, and best in computer, most kind, most neat, most attentive, most disciplined, most helpful, most patient, and most active. Denise Marie P. Buenaventura with high honors, athletic award, most honest, most cheerful, most persistent, and most active. Princess Francine D. Galupe with honors, Best Performing Artist in Dancing, Leadership Award, Most Cordial, Most Thoughtful, Most Attentive, and Most Active. Arian C. Maniego with high honors, best in TLE, most cordial, most enthusiastic, most persevered, and most initiative.
Shansai Mei G. Salaver, most generous, most friendly, most cheerful, and most enthusiastic. Crisia Camille S. Tolosa, paid high honors, most polite, most disciplined, most courteous, most independent, and most behaved. Senior high school graduates, General Academic Strand, under the advisory of Ms. Rita Jane Salsona. Christian M. Callio, with honors. Athletic Award, Most Thoughtful, Most Kind, Most Honest, Most Active, and Most Friendly. Christopher I. Callio, with honors. Most Persistent, Most Cordial, Most Cooperative, Most Helpful, and Most Cheerful. Leonard R.G.B. Francisco, Academic Achiever, Best Performing Artist in Singing, Most Independent, Most Neat, Most Attentive, and Most Cooperative. Marco G. Kidaya, with Honors, Athletic Award, Most Energetic, Most Independent, most active and most enthusiastic. John Lloyd S. Labanza with high honors, best in applied economics, disaster readiness and risk reduction, athletic award, most polite, most disciplined, most active, most kind and most persistent. Eugene D. Lapay, Academic Achiever, Athletic Award, Most Cheerful, Most Active, Most Courteous and Most Persistent. John Andrew M. Manu, Academic Achiever, Athletic Award, Most Persistent, Most Energetic, Most Attentive, and Most Helpful. Patrick John B. Mercader, with high honors, Best in Organization and Management, Best in Physical Science, Most Neat, Most Courteous, Most Behaved, Most Patient, and Most Kind. Arvin Kim M. Nicole, Academic Achiever, Most Friendly, Most Neat, Most Independent, and Most Enthusiastic. Aldrin C. Paginar, Athletic Award, Most Independent, Most Cooperative, and Most Persistent. John Lawrence A. Ranin, with Honors, Athletic Award, Most Active, Most Attentive, most energetic and most enthusiastic. Daniel B. Zuniga with honors. Athletic Award, most energetic, most cooperative, 
most persistent, and most cheerful. Rickbell D. Benabaye with high honors, best in entrepreneurship, best in organization and management, most industrious, most cheerful, most kind, most independent, and most polite. Hannah Grace M. Espiritu with high honors, best in mathematics, best in physical science, best in English, Best in Social Science, Disaster Readiness and Risk Reduction, Leadership Award, Most Generous, Most Courteous, Most Disciplined, Most Active, Most Helpful, Most Patient, and Most Cooperative. Kyle Jaspin Y. Huilar, with high honors. Best in Research and Best Performing Artist in Dancing, Most Independent, Most Persistent, Attentive, most helpful and most active. Congratulations, class of 2020! Presentation of students with academic recognition.
To lead the graduates and completers of Class 2020, let's all listen to the valedictory speech of Neven A. Avenir, Senior Kinder Completer with Highest Honors, Maria Zanel A. Pagaduan, with Highest Honors Elementary, Maylin A. Abuela, with Highest Honors Junior High School, and Ms. Hannah Grace M. Espiritu, Senior High School Graduate with Highest Honors. What's up, fellow graduates? It's our day today, our graduation day. Let us all rejoice and be proud. Happy Hooray! To our beloved school directress, Dr. Elizabeth Buyayo, our dear principal, Mr. Victorino Napadan, energetic teachers, proud parents, fellow graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Before anything else, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Niben A. Abinir, five years old, a senior kinder graduate. Along, allow me to share with you my journey in kindergarten. At my early age, I already developed the value of giving high regards to education. It is Actually, our right and not just a choice for millennials like us, access to education is just a one click away due to existence of modern technologies that are available to any time, every time, anywhere, and everywhere. We shall take this as opportunity to our learning process and not to get hooked with so many online games that will divert our attention from educational information to e-games addiction. It's a great help in my studies. Despite my parents are professional, my mama is a licensed teacher and my papa is a certified public accountant. They have spent less time in our studies at home with Ate Yan Yan doing assignments and reviews. Less time, yet a good quality time. It is all because they have to attend to the household chores after their school and office works. With the help of my gadgets, shut up ko pala kay mami dimple for that gift. I was able to access educational application available online. As I can recall, I can already identify colors, identify colors, count numbers with ABCs, and info words at the age of two on my own. This became possible due to my early exposure e-learning materials in the internet with the direct supervision of my parents. My interest to learn go deeper when my parents gave the opportunity to study at San Antonio de Padua School. From junior to senior kinder, I ended up with highest honors. These achievements are not possible without the help and assistance of my last advisor, 
Mam Karen Alcala, she cultivated, nurtured, and developed my potential to be a better pupil. Today, I'm standing in front of you as a proud graduate, a milestone towards achieving my dreams. I just want also in, to impart a message to everybody. Continue to feel in our hunger for knowledge, knowledge through continuous education by being provided by the government, private institutions, and in online world. Because even our young minds can and build a better future of our nation. Before I take my seat, I would like to say, Mama, Papa, thank you very much for all your support. You are my inspiration. To Teacher Karina, I will never forget your kindness. Thank you for being a foster parent inside the classroom. To Mommy Ea and Ate Isai, thank you for supporting my school activities. To Mommy Dimple, Daddy Romel, Kuya Dave, Ate Diane, and Daniela, thank you for the rewards on my academic achievements. To Daddy Ray, Mommy Vic, Ninong and Ninang, thank you for my, for the eat, and you can cheat. To my alma mater, in Anthony D. Padua School, thank you for providing an excellent Catholic education. And lastly, thank God to for giving me wisdom and strength. Once again, congratulations, but Happy God wishing to all. Thank you very much. Guest of honors, parents, friends, schoolmates, my dear co-graduates, teachers, staff, school, administration, headed by Dr. Elizabeth Puyayo, our school principal, Ms. Victoria Napatan, our school accounting officer, Mr. Rosina. Ladies and gentlemen, good day to all of us. Today is a memorable day for all of us, a sweet ending to a new beginning. We have to just end it, our elementary school life. And now we have to start a new chapter of our journey. The high school, each of us had their own experience during. We start at SAPS, a combination of good times and bad times. Laughter and joy and time of school spirit, everybody enjoyed the students solving during sand competition and other school activities. And recently, all this pandemic time, which affected all of the lives of I would like to say thank you to my classmates who give me company and friendship, especially with my best friend Agatha and Phyllis Wood. I'd like to say thank you for my teachers for always being to teach me. I'd like to say thank you to my parents who gave me so much love, support, and guidance for whatever endeavor I made. I'd like to say thank you to my dream Alma Mater, and Anthony de Padua for providing us an excellent location. And last but most of all, I would like to say thank you for God for giving me wisdom and strength. I hope we shall have more challenging wonderful school year ahead of us.
First and foremost, praises to the God, the Almighty, for His showers of blessings to our journey. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to speak to all of you today. I would like to express my appreciation to all my teachers, friends, and family members who helped me to get to where I am right now. I remember leaving my old school for the last time, though it is not part of our plan and heading into the exciting and challenging school. When I first came to this school, I was a bit, I was a bit apprehensive and nervous because it was my first time moving from a small town to a big city where no one didn't know me, which couldn't have been more di different from the school I left in this back. On the first day of school, I was so excited, yet I didn't know how to talk to my new classmates. I also didn't know how to befriend them, and being an introverted person really complicated things for me. I know some of us were nervous, though we won't admit it now. High school can be intimidating for sure, but you can, it can also be a place for God. And now, I would like to express my deep and, and sincere gratitude to our beloved school director, Dr. Elizabeth Kekoyayo, our principal, Mr. Victorino Inabadan, for giving me the opportunity to enroll from the school and providing invaluable guidance throughout this journey. I am extending my heartfelt thanks to my advisor, subject teachers, and to all the faculty staff for teaching us, for guiding us, for helping us to understand the lesson, and especially for giving us high patience. I am extremely grateful to my family for their love, prayers, support, and caring, and especially for, and for, especially for their sacrifices for educating and preparing me for my future. Classmates, Thank you so much for making me laugh because of your jokes. I miss our dance practice, eating together, sharing foods, paper, or maybe answers. Our fights, but still united as one, understand each other, and helping each other. We didn't know we were making memories. We just knew we were having fun, and that's the important thing that everyone should do while learning. I would also like to thank our class president, Princess Calupe, for doing a great job being a good leader. My special thanks goes to my friend, Casey Calosa, for always there for me. And thank you to our school driver and also to our janitor for keeping the school clean. Last but not least, I would also want to extend my appreciation to those who could not be mentioned here but have well played a role to inspire me behind the screen. I struggled in school. There were so many projects, activities to do, and ending notes to write, places and exams to study for. But then I realized I have goals to achieve and dreams to make for a better future. We can still enjoy our lives, making friends, doing our hobbies, learn new things, and and spend time with our family without forgetting our dreams that paved the way to success. I know my experience is limited, but, I, but, my, but I, every problem I've overcome has been because someone has been there to help me. But graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of the larger journey of life. Wherever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere. We've all worked hard to just to get to this day. Always remember to not give up on, on whatever life may throw at you. Be brave and never quit. As Maya Angelo once said, nothing can be the light that shines from within. Most especially, God has made it possible to see through all the challenges and come out of them stronger and better. For all the blessings, I, along with the bat with the entire batch, I'm sincerely grateful to all of you. All, above all, to the great Almighty, the author of knowledge and wisdom, 
first of this love, we thank you. Once again, congratulations. We deserve to give ourselves a huge one round of applause. Good day, honored guests, family, friends, teachers, and staff of St. Anthony de Padua School. I am honored to be standing in front of all of you to commemorate the memories and accomplishment of our great class. Through these past years, I have seen us all discover and devote ourselves to our studies and grow immensely as a result. Our class grade 12 has come together so much and we had so much fun together. I could also proudly say that we finally did it. We accomplished one of the major early milestones of our lives, senior high school graduation. This is a major step in the journey of our lives, one that should be recognized for its immense significance. A diploma is a wonderful tool in this world, one that opens many doors of opportunity for anyone who is lucky enough to have one. But graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead part of the larger journey of life. Wherever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere. Life is a journey and all accomplishment we achieve during its course should be taken as a starting point for further achievements. But before we can begin to reach for the stars, I want to remind everyone that we should be grateful and thank God that we are all still safe despite the pandemic. I wish everyone to not lose hope and still move forward no matter what challenges we are currently facing now. We shouldn't lose hope. This graduation has already shown us how capable we all are accomplishing our goals when we commit ourselves to them. I hope all of us here today can take um, this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything is truly possible when we put our minds into it. I would also like to thank our advisor, Ms. Rika Jane Salsona. Thank you very much, Mom Rika, for being kind and patient to us. Even though we are pasaway na ibon, you still treated us as if we are, or we are your own children. Thank you for my friends for making my senior year fun and memorable. Last but not the least, I would like to thank my family for being supportive and loving me unconditionally. Mom, I hope that you are happy for my graduation. Actually, our graduation. Because every moment in this journey, you always been my inspiration and admire all your hard work so you can provide for our family. I would like to thank everyone and God bless us all. As we are about to reach the end of the program, may we ask the graduates to please raise your right hand for the Pledge of Loyalty. We, the graduating class of St. Anthony de Padua School, Class 2019-2020, to with the aid of the Divine Providence, do hereby pledge of our loyalty to our alma mater and to live in manners worthy of ourselves, our fellow men, our country. So help us God. At this juncture, we shall now listen to the graduates and completers final song. Be 
school's administrative staff and faculty, we joyfully congratulate the completers, graduates, their parents, and advisors. We sincerely thank you all for supporting this momentous event. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you and mabuti.